Today, I'm going to show you how to create this cool green screen overlay in the CapCut mobile app. I'll also show you how to animate it like a pro. On my timeline, I have my main video and my green screen video already imported. The first thing I'm going to do is to select the green screen video and then scroll and click on overlay. This will move the green screen video to the overlay area on the timeline. This green screen media is actually a free picture I downloaded from pexels.com. We plan to make it look like a video, therefore, I'm going to drag and stretch it across the timeline to match with the main video. Once the duration looks perfectly aligned, I'm going to select the green screen media and then scroll and click on Remove BG. Now I'll select chroma key and then drag the selector to the green screen area of the video. And then I'll click on intensity and increase the intensity a bit. I'm going to increase it to around 25. That works perfect. As you can see, the video beneath the green screen is now visible because the green area is gone. However, it does not fit the screen because a huge part of the video is cropped out. Therefore, I'll select the main video and then pinch in to zoom out until it fits the monitor screen. So I can also use my finger to drag and move it around until I get something I want. Now it looks perfect, but if I play it, it's going to look like a stationary scene, which might not sell my trick. So to animate this scene, I'm going to click on export. Once I'm done exporting, I'll create a new project and then import the video that I just exported into my timeline. So now that's on my timeline, I will just move the playhead to where I want the scene to look stationary and then click on the diamond button to create a keyframe. And then I'll move to the beginning of the footage where I want the animation to start from and then pinch out using my finger to crop in. It will automatically create another keyframe at the beginning of the scene. This will create a zoom out animation and it will bring the scene to life. But to make this even smoother, I'm going to move my playhead to the second keyframe where the animation ended and then click on this graph icon. Thereafter, I'll select a preset ease out to make the ease out smoother. That's how to create a green screen overlay effect and animate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you at the next one. Have a good one.